a it's starting to get a little bit out of hand. Fred Taylor has an incredible resume, one that's worthy of being at the very least a finalist for a Hall of Fame and definitely should have him in a gold jacket one day, but still he waits. Taylor was named a semifinalist for the Pro Football Hall of Fame, but didn't advance to that finalist list of 15. All 15 finalists are incredible players, but so was Fred Taylor. He, Jaguars drafted him in 1998, spent 11 seasons here with the Jags, rushed for 1,000 yards in seven seasons and finished his career with over 11,000 yards rushing. If that sounds like a lot, it's because it is. Take a look at the NFL record book here. These are the list. Emmitt Smith at number one, and as we kind of go through, over there at number 17, Fred Taylor. In the history of the NFL, only 16 guys have ever rushed for more yards than Taylor. And all of the Hall of Fame eligible ones already have their gold jacket. That only leaves Frank Gore and Adrian Peterson, who are both not Hall of Fame eligible yet, not in Canton, Ohio. Still not sold that he should be in yet? Check out this stat of NFL running backs in the history. 4.6 yards per carry or better on 2,500 or more carries. Barry Sanders, Fred Taylor. That's the list, folks. I'm just saying, he's pretty good. Hopefully we can end him up in Canton at some point. Tony Baselli, as soon as he got his gold jacket, immediately started a campaign to get another Jaguar in there with him. So hopefully the wait won't be much longer.